So welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. Um, I'm just making ourselves a bigger backpack. Now we can gather some more resources while we're out and about on the planet's surface. And today we want to focus on doing some more base expansion. But our main mission is to turn the skies blue. So I'm going to have to put a load more of these mining drills down to increase that. So let's just begin by sticking an extra level on our base. And I just want to get this facing in the right direction. I think that's, is that the way? Yeah, that's the way we need to face it. Just get this neatly in the corner. And we'll put an extra level on our beginner base here. So we just come up here and just need to get some more titanium. And we'll put a few more of these living quarters down on the top. Effectively doubling the amount of space that we've got to work with here and grab some more iron to do that as well. So now I've really been enjoying Planet Crafter. Happy to have it on the channel. I only feature games that, oh, just place that one in the wrong spot. I only feature games on the channel that I really enjoy and this one has grabbed me. Hasn't been much this year that's come out, but like I mentioned in the last episode, I'm really getting the Subnautica vibes here. And I do like my building survival and crafting games. Okay, so one more and I think we just need to jump down so we can place that. There we go. And effectively we've just doubled the size of our base. You can get some more veggie tubes, some more heaters on the inside here. And continue to terraform the planet. Now we've got some windows here. I think I'll just place one in the middle so we can look out in our cave. And... I guess we're going to put some more veggie tubes and we need to get some more heaters down. But before I do that, I really want to concentrate on transforming the skies. So we're going to need some of these mining drills and wind turbines out. At the moment, we've only got the terraformation index saying we've got 3.60 TI of 175. So we really want to get a few more of these down, start unlocking the bigger versions as well so let's get a wind turbine down and a few more of these mining drills so again they require some titanium I should have plenty of that I've just gathered a load of resources off screen and I'll just empty this crate here while we're at it oh and we've just unlocked heater version 2 so I'll probably get a couple more of them down as well today because we need to get this temperature up on the planet so we can melt them ice caps so some more iron and we've got some titanium in here let's just grab that so we'll get a few of these mining drills down and start increasing that terraformation index okay so stick as many of these down as I can I've got a few more titaniums there and that way we'll get that blue sky all the quicker the more of these we place down. Uh, just get rid of this iridium. We can make some more space for some more drills here. Okay. And there we go. Just place another one. Perhaps another wind turbine as well. Just keep the power going. And hopefully we can unlock version 2 of this drill. Let's stick another one down. Yeah, we've got enough power to do it. And another, another wind turbine just for good luck. We've also got this heater version 2. So I might actually get a couple of these down. So let's just stick this in the corner here. We could probably get a couple of heaters down next to each other. Just up in the top. And... I've got enough iridium and resources to be able to do that. We've got this heater version 1 in the corner. I actually might just get rid of this and replace that with the veggie tube. We'll shove our heaters up on the next level. I've gone back to gather some more seeds and these veggie tubes are what creates oxygen. So hopefully we can get to a stage where we've got a breathable atmosphere. We still haven't unlocked any way of being able to craft our own food, so we're not entirely self-sufficient. I've got plenty of packets of seeds though, so 
hopefully we're not too far away from unlocking that. Um, let's just place this one down here. A little bit more oxygen. Okay. Let's stick a second heater down. Now we've got rid of that one from downstairs. The version 2 of the heater is going to obviously output a lot more heat and get us to that point where we melt the ice a little bit quicker. So fantastic. We have managed to open up a second version of the mining drill. So I want to get some of them down. We've unlocked a couple more bits. We still haven't managed to unlock any way of making food. So we've got the veggie tubes, but we're still relying on the rations that we find around the planet. So we're not entirely self-sufficient. Let's get this screen down. We've also unlocked this screen. This just tells us how much process we've made on the terraformation stages. Can I fit it in just next to this other big screen we've got here? As well put that down just here so we can see where we're at terraformation wise. I want to get it straight. There we go. Okay, so we're still on the barren planet, but just approaching the 5% mark for blue sky. And that's all to do with the mining drills we've got down outside. So now we've unlocked version 2 of the mining drill. I think we might just put a load of them down. Okay, so that's the bigger version of the mining drill. I'm gonna get rid of some of these smaller ones. And of course, we've just knocked the power out. So we'll get rid of some of these smaller ones, replace them. So we'll get some more solar panels down here, generate some more power and let me say them, the larger mining drills are definitely having a better effect than the smaller ones so I may as well pick these up and oh, just lost some stuff there and we'll replace them with the larger versions, hang on that's the smaller one isn't it, there we go, drill version 2. Just grab these. Can we get another one up and running? Not so sure that the wind turbines are that effective. They don't generate too much power. They've been alright to begin with, but power is something that we really need to improve on. So even just an extra one of them wind turbines is not enough. Need to get some more solar panels down. Perhaps I'll get one more in this corner here. And hopefully that'll just be enough to keep us going. We need to unlock better versions of our mining drills here. Okay. So there we go. So I'll get rid of this one. This is also a level one. And I can't seem to grab that iridium. Okay. Let's get some oxygen. We'll get another one of the larger mining drills down. Hopefully we've got enough power. No, we need to get some more solar panels up. They do require a lot more power and I haven't unlocked a version 2 of any of our power sources yet. So, I'm going to wind turbine and do it just for the time being. Okay, let's get some more of these veggie tubes down and I've unlocked version 2 of the solar panels now so I'm going to stick some of them down outside generate hopefully a lot more power and we'll get a few of these veggie tubes down that's just knocked out the power so we'll get version 2 of the solar panel down we need cobalt, got the aluminium so that requires a few more resources but hopefully it's going to give us a lot more power. So it's the aluminium that is the rarer resource here, but I have managed to keep a little bit of it back, so stick a few of these down. There we go. So we're just approaching the 30 TI mark in terms of terraformation process. I want to get another two more of these tubes down because I've got a couple more of them seeds. Um, so that's one. Hopefully that solar panel that we've just put down is enough to keep all of this going. It appears so. And we could definitely get one more of them down. And that all counts towards the amount of oxygen that we're going to get. So 
So I've got plenty of cobalt. We'll be able to make some more solar panels. And we've just unlocked our food grower. So I definitely want to get that down as soon as we can because I've been relying pretty much on what we can scavenge on the planet's surface for food. And we do need to become more self-sufficient. So I've got all of the seeds, as you can see there. So we can plant some stuff. But let's get these solar panels down because it's obviously going to need more power. We're certainly going through the power now. Okay, so another one of those. Fantastic. So let's have a look at these food growers, see what they take. Okay, so let's just get our food grower down. Again, needing aluminium to craft them. A little bit more of a rarer resource. So let's just grab some of these seeds. What have we got here? Okay, an eggplant. Okay, let's get one of them. God, of all of the food to grow, it has to be eggplant. We all call it aubergine in the UK. Uh, whatever you call it, I call it disgusting, but there you go. Um, it's not so bad in Ratatouille though, is it, I suppose? And hey, got to eat something. Beggars can't be choosers. So some more water, a little bit more aluminium. And we'll do one of the... Oh, squash. I mean, the two most nasty vegetables that you can possibly get. Squash and aubergine or eggplant. So, I wonder why the US, they call it an eggplant. I mean, it looks nothing like an egg. And, uh, okay, so we got some squash. Okay, we can get another veggie tube down as well. Okay, let's just get another one of the veggie growers in the, in the veggie tubes in the corner here. There we go. So we're creating plenty of O2. And I guess we could put another food grower down. That won't do us any harm if we get another one of the seeds on the grow. And mining drills. I really want to speed up that process. We need to transform our skies into a blue sky. I don't know if we actually manage to transform the skies blue if that gives us an atmosphere and will actually stop all of the asteroid impacts. I'm yet to find out if that's what it does. But stick a couple more of them down and that's definitely there we go, we need some more iron and titanium. The number of TI on the top right there is certainly going up a lot quicker. So some more iron, got some more titanium, here we go, let's get some of that, get another drill, place that one down in this corner here, it seems like the solar panels work for quite a distance, stick another one of them down, okay, so again we need some more solar panels, I thought we would. Okay, let's just get another mining drill down. And that's making the number go up pretty quick now. I also want to concentrate on getting some more heaters down as well. Start heating up the planet. Okay, so number two. Just place this in this corner. I guess we could get another heater and another food grower down here. Looks like we've got enough space to do that. Food grower. Okay, one more. Okay, so you need some more power for all of that. Okay, so running out of space to put all of these solar panels down. I'm pleased they're working in the caves. I don't know if they're less effective in the cave, but... Okay, so I need to get another food grower down and some more heaters. So let's put this squash in here, get that one going. So how are we doing in terms of our eggplant is 67, 65% grown. So I think we'll put another heater just down here and that'll do for our extra expansion today. So I've still got some more seeds we can use as well. Just have something to eat. Okay, so we need more water. And we've got this communication antenna, the beacon that we've unlocked. So let's perhaps stick the communication antenna down. 
Okay, this is quite big. I'm just going to put it on the front of our base just here. And naturally, it requires a lot of power. So we can get one more of them solar panels in, I guess. Magnesium, silicon and aluminium. Okay, just one more in this corner here should do it. And now we've got the communications antenna up. I need to figure out a place where we can stick the message board down. So probably need to get rid of some of these storage crates. And we've actually got our expanded storage. So I'm going to get rid of perhaps these two just to begin with. And we'll use our bigger storage cases now we've unlocked that okay so a couple of them there don't look the greatest place to have stuck them there they look a bit untidy coming away from the wall but hey that's extra storage they're a lot bigger than the smaller storage crates you'll be able to organize things a lot better okay check this out so we finally managed to get our version three of the mining drill unlocked here we go. It's pretty big. And we're like 74 Ti so far. So we need to do another 100. So definitely get this down. Maybe place it down here on the lower level. Start expanding onto the lower levels actually. We've got staircases and things that we can do with our base expanding down there. Okay. Let's check on our food. How's that doing? 8% and is this one grown yet? No, 89%. Still not quite ready with our eggplant. Yum. Okay, just put another table down here and we want to get this message screen down because we've now placed our communications antenna down but we can't read any of the messages that we're getting without the screen so I'm just going to place it on the table here. It's a little bit untidy at the moment. Just, of course, I'm going to expand on our base eventually. Okay, so to convict GP, you chose to commute your sentence into an extradition. If you want to be released of all charges pending against you, you will have to totally transform the planet. Okay, interesting. So it appears that we've been sent to this planet as a punishment, um, but. Quite honestly, I'm enjoying my time on this planet. I wouldn't call it a punishment. I would say this is a bit of a treat, really. So, hey, but uh, interesting. That's how the story goes. So now I do want to go and search some more wreckage. And I know just the place. Check it out. So we can definitely see a difference in the sky. It's definitely starting to turn blue. I'll just use our original crash pod to get a little bit of O2 back. And as you can see, straight ahead of us, this is the crashed ship that I wanted to explore. Yeah, our mining is definitely having effects on the sky, as you can see. Okay, so looks like this is the entrance just here. Let's see what else we can find. Probably find some more seeds in here if we can. This actually looks like quite a big derelict ship we got here. So some more fabrics, some more rations, aluminium. They're all good resources there. Right. Sure. So, oh, there we go. Just deconstruct this. And this ship's quite large. Ooh, microchips, they're good. We're probably going to have to make a couple of trips. Just deconstruct this heater. Um... So nothing back here, but it's definitely looked like a large ship. Microchips are all good. We use them to unlock new blueprints. Okay, space food. I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry all of this stuff. I'm going to leave the resources that are not as rare behind, I guess. We've got a couple of crates here, more fabrics, more seeds, going to grab that, more space food. Oh, and a new blueprint, we've got veggie tubes version 3, just in time as we've found some more seeds. Okay, just continue on 
I mean, at the back of the ship here. So, now that we know that we're a, a convict, perhaps... Oh, I couldn't actually pick up any more stuff. We're full. Then, I suspect if we're a convict that these are actually just crashed wrecks on this planet. That it wasn't part of our ship. Um, okay, let's get rid of iron. Grab that fabric. Let's grab the seeds. We're going to have to come back for this stuff. There's plenty of stuff here. Super alloy. Haven't found a use for that just yet. Okay. This morning, we're on our 17 days of space travel to Stigma. Our ship unexpectedly exited hyperspace velocity. The navigation tools went crazy. And of all of our ship's power went down. Okay, so just the black box there. Looks like we've got a reactor. So I'm sure that's definitely going to have to come in handy. Um, we'll eat our space food, pick up this microchip, and I guess that's as much as we can carry, really. Um, plenty of aluminium. I'm going to grab the aluminium. Um... I guess we'll just have to come back to empty the rest of this stuff out of the ship here, but just something to note that it does have a reactor core, so I wonder what we're going to have to use that for. Okay, so back to base. We've got plenty of stuff there, plenty of microchips to unlock and some new blueprints. Let's see what we get for all of that stuff. Okay. Water. Okay, so let's just check out these microchips. So, a recycling machine. Okay. Uh, mining speed level three. And a blueprint for a living room corner. Okay, so we do get different shapes other than the box shapes. That's great. And as you can see, terraforming, everything is going up in the right direction. But back to gathering some more resources let's just check up here on our plants we can put another heater down we'll do that oh got a new message received okay let's check this out what does it say um hello finally managed to locate the system that we sent you to i don't have much time but i'll try to give you some advice the success rate of the planet crafters is low because of its nearly impossible task okay um yeah just some basic information there nothing that we didn't know i'm sure i've read that message actually back on our crashed life pod okay so we need to get Another one of them heaters crafted. Um, again, kind of like halfway there when it comes to temperature. We need to raise it to 100. We're just approaching the 50 mark. So we'll put another one of these down. And that'll get us a little bit closer to melting the ice. And it looks like we've got 100% growth. Okay, so let's just grab our squash and our really lovely eggplant it looks like we get seeds back so we can just replant everything okay so yeah that's a renewable plant source i'll stick another squat of butt wash in there i don't want more eggplants I suppose it's not too bad in ratatouille you know eggplant or aubergine but uh i don't know and is there an Italian dish, isn't it? Moussaka. That one's actually not too bad. It's just eggplant by itself. I can't stand eggplant by itself, but I suppose, hey. Okay, could do with a little bit more space, so I'm going to stick another level on top of our base. And if I just shove this ladder in the corner, give us an opportunity to get some more heaters and stuff down. Okay, so if we can get another three levels on here. Where are we? Living compartments. We've also got that corner compartment. Okay, I can only put another two living compartments down on the top here. We can't access that corner. Okay, there we go. So just a little bit more space on the top there. And now we've got that corner design. I will concentrate on gathering some more resources so we can make something a little bit better than what we have. 
Just running out of space down here. So we've got another message. They're all starting to come in now. And I, know, I guess we could place another window down as well. Check this message out. Uh, I've read that you have more chance of success if you build your base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now. Okay. If you manage to heat the planet enough, the cave should become accessible when the ice melts. Well, okay, that's definitely something we're trying to do. And, okay, so heat-wise, we're kind of halfway there with the heat. Just waiting for our skies to turn blue. So we can get some more veggie tubes down upstairs in that new space that we've crafted. And we've actually got version 3 of the veggie tube. So perhaps we'll try using that. And of course, just to make things look a little bit nicer up the top here, we'll put a, another window in. Um, I'll just shove that above the one that's downstairs. Again, I know it's a pretty small and simple base. I definitely want to play around with some of the things that we have unlocked there. So Veggie Tube version 3, okay. Okay, well it looks like the third version needs to go outside of the base and it takes a lot of power. So we need to get another solar panel down. Okay, let's just shove one down here. There we go. So now we're getting close to the point where blue skies, we've got 157 TI and perhaps now that we've got these third, the third version of the veggie tube, these ones appear to go outside, I guess maybe we'll take these ones down that we have. Okay, our nuclear reactor, oh we definitely need one of them. I'm wondering if the fusion reactor we found at that derelict ship is going to be something to do with that. Okay, we're not far off blue skies now. Okay, so there we go. 74, we're just about to hit. There we go, that was our last milestone. And we've got the advanced crafting station unlocked. Okay, superb, but look at that. Blue skies, fantastic. So... Now it's just a case of back to gathering some more resources and I'm actually going to do a little bit more base expanding in the next episode. Perhaps we can craft something a little bit nicer than what we have so far. But look at that, clear blue skies. We're already seeing our hard work paying off. But uh, do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that episode and uh, what you're thinking of the game so far. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see ya.